First, we're gonna start in the flat position. Lay back, flat on your back, handle in. Just put your arches over the rope, not your heels. The heels will make you bounce really bad. Right when the boat gets ready to take off, you're going to push your hips up into the air, put your chin up in the air as well. The chin will block the water from going in your nose. Make sure you're blowing air out of your nose so water doesn't go up it. You want to sit up nice and slow. There's no reason to sit up fast. Make sure that you sit up as the boat is planing off. So you're going to plane off on your butt and kind of your tailbone as the boat is planing off. When you're riding there, the handle needs to stay in and be pushed down on top of your lap. If you pick the handle up or you pull it into your chest, you're going to lose stability and start rocking from left to right. As you're going, try to relax, get comfortable. Do not be in a hurry to put your feet in the water. If you're not comfortable on your butt, you're not going to have a good plan. Now, here's the time to put your feet in the water. As you take your feet off the rope, knees are together, feet are wide, wider than your butt. It's like training wheels on a bicycle. Your butt's the tire, your feet are the training wheels. As you put your feet in the water, let them glide back to your butt and start slowly standing up. As you slowly stand up, pull your feet together, get your shins parallel, make sure your back is straight, your hips are pushed forward, let the handle out slowly, and keep your eyes up. Best thing to learn if this is your first time is what I call the three 90 degree angles. 90 degree in your knees, 90 degree in your hips, and 90 degree in your armpits. That'll put you in a nice, solid, low stance until you're comfortable to stand a little higher. Now that you know the formula, get out there and do it.